Hello everyone and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. As you can see by the thumbnail and title of the video, we're going to be finding out what the fastest electric car is in Forza Horizon 5. With the new addition of the 2016 Neo EP9 to the game yesterday, that means we now have five high-end super slash hyper cars to test out. Now I'm going to test them in loads of different scenarios. So we've got a top speed test as both stock and tuned. We also have a drag race with the tuned cars and also the Horizon in Mexico circuit and again I'll be using them all tuned. Now the five cars of choice are as follows the 2020 Lotus Avaya, the 2016 Neo EP9, the 2020 Porsche Taycan, the 2019 Racer Tachyon Speed and lastly the 2019 Rimac Concept 2. I'll also be doing them in manufacturer order as it's just easier. If you could do me a massive favor and drop a like rating down below as it will help get this video out there and seen by others and if you are new consider subscribing to the channel for more Forza Horizon and racing content. Jumping into the first test, we have the top speed of all of the vehicles as stock. And the first car we'll be using is the Lotus Avaya. Obviously the cars may change once they've been tuned, but the list I'd imagine will probably be the more high-end hyper cars will be at the top. And I'm pretty sure this is already the top speed of it actually. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, that was nice and quick, wasn't it? So the 2020 Lotus Avaya's top speed is 221 miles per hour. I'll also pop up the kilometers per hour on screen for those of you that care. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Neo EP9. It's a bit slow at accelerating, but once it gets into the hundreds, it uh, really does start to pick it up a bit. If any of you watched my video yesterday on this car, you'll know that I have uh, very mixed feelings about it, unfortunately. But it is still a very nice car though. I'm assuming it'll probably max out again before it reaches the end. Like the Lotus. I, I feel like that's probably going to be it, 195. I'll skip to the end anyway, just to see if it does improve. And it didn't. That was a complete waste of time. So the top speed of the Neo EP9 is 195 miles an hour. Next up is the 2020 Porsche Taycan. Uh, this one's actually got two gears as well, which is nice. Um, stock though, I don't know where it's going to get actually for its top speed. I don't think it's going to get that much higher than this. It might actually be the slowest out of all of them as stock. And I'm pretty sure that is the top speed. Is it? Is it going to get an extra? Nope. 171. Okay. So the top speed for the Porsche Taycan is 171 miles an hour as stock. Next up is the 2019 Racer Tachyon Speed, which pretty much looks like the Batmobile, <laughs> in all honesty. This is also another one of the disappointing cards that you can't do pretty much any upgrades to aside from some of the uh, Forza cosmetics. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit naff, but it is what it is, you know. You know what, I, is, is that gonna be it, 242? Yeah, I think that was it, about 242, 243 miles an hour is the top speed for the Racer Tachyon. And lastly for the electric cars is the 2019 Rimac Concept 2 or the Rimac Nevera, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, this should hopefully be a lot quicker uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it should be the fastest as well, actually, out of all of them. Yep, okay, it is. <laughs> there we go. Well, the Rimax already won in uh, stock top speed, and the top speed is 261 miles an hour, which is the fastest, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually written all them down because I'm stupid. I probably should do that. I'm fairly certain this one is the winner. So now we're going to do the same thing again, but with all of the cars tuned. I've specifically tuned them all myself to keep them all fair. They've got the max upgrades that improve the car. Obviously anything that decreases anything I haven't included. And the tunes will also be on screen if you want to try it yourself. All right, I think that was it. So 288 miles an hour. Obviously, it's the first one we've tested, but I'm sure it's probably going to stay at the top. Maybe for the whole time, if not a while. I don't know if the Porsche or the Rimac will potentially be it. I know the other two probably won't. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So the top speed for the Neo EP9 tuned is 212 miles an hour. 270, 271, yeah, 272. Ah, uh, okay. 
271 miles an hour is the top speed for the Porsche Taycan. Two more left, we've got the Racer and we've got the Rimac. I think it's probably gonna have the top speed around what it was stock because it is pretty much the same. Yeah, so it's 243, but again, I'll skip to the end and see if it does go up at all, but it's pretty much the same. Well, once again, <laughs> wasting my time. Uh, 243 miles an hour is the top speed for the racer. If it gets more than 288 on this, it's already beaten it. 288, 289. Uh, well, there we go. Okay, so this is the clear winner. But let's see if it can get any quicker with a bit of downforce. Cool, so 292 miles an hour is the top speed for the Rimac Concept 2, which also makes it the winner once again of the top speed challenge. So next up, we're gonna do a drag race in each of the cars. Instead of doing them all individually, I'm gonna either clump all of them on screen. I know there's five and it'll probably look very weird. I'll do something magical, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that will test all of them at the same time and you can obviously see which one's good. Once again, the Rimac Concept 2 has won, and it also won by almost four seconds, which is insane. I was actually quite surprised, though, with the racer Tachyon, that it got a second, which is pretty cool. I think it's already making sense what the clear winner is here, but we can't rule it out just yet because we've got to do the Horizon Mexico circuit with each of them now and see out of the five which one is best for racing. Now, I completely forgot that Rivals doesn't have a X-Class mode. It's only up to S2. So what I've done is I've reset all of the cars back to stock and we're going to test them that way. But they should also be very similar for what they would be tuned. After 30 minutes of driving all of these cars around the Horizon Mexico circuit, I finally have all of the times for the cars. In fifth place, as expected, is the 2020 Porsche Taycan with a time of one minute and eight seconds. In fourth place, we have the 2019 Racer Tachyon Speed with a time of 55.906 seconds. And then very close in third is the 2019 Rimac Concept 2 with a time of 55.722 seconds. In second place, we have the 2020 Lotus Avaya with a time of 54.371 seconds, meaning that in first place, we have the 2016 Neo EP9 with a time of 53. 0.403 seconds. So for overall top speed, the Rimac Concept 2 is by far the best electric car with three out of the four events won. But if you want to use a electric car for circuit racing, the Neo EP9 is the one to go with. This video is actually a lot of fun to make and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Overall, the Rimac is the winner and rightly deserves. It is an absolutely fantastic car. But then again, so are the rest of them in their own way. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a like rating down below if you enjoyed this video today and consider subscribing if you are new. On screen now is another video and I'll catch you over there very soon. Until next time, take care.